Hey guys, so I have here my original lava lamp and there's one thing that everybody says you're not supposed to do with these lamps and that is to shake them. So shaking the lamp supposedly damages it because the wax inside will kind of break up into many many little bubbles and then those will not be able to merge together anymore so that means that we're going to lose this really nice and pretty effect of the wax bubbles going up and down. And now in this video we want to test if this is true and if there is a way to fix that so that the lamp will work just like new again. So at this point the lava lamp was running for more than two hours so right now the water and the wax both are really hot and that's also why I'm using here a towel to grab onto the bottle. And now uh, yeah, let's try this out so I'm going to shake this up really good and you see here just shaking it kind of a little bit really breaks up the wax good so you see all those teeny tiny uh, little wax balls that are now floating around in there so uh, this should be good i think and now let us put the glass cylinder here back onto the light bulb and see what happens yeah so first we see here really nicely all those little bubbles so you see there's no really big bubbles anymore so let us zoom in a little bit more and now you see here all those little wax bubbles going up and down so they're just floating around so some of them are going up some of them are going down and the really the pretty effect of the lamp is kind of destroyed so the warning of not to shake the lamp is true so you really should do it because all we have now is here this cloud this cloud of wax and water and it's just going all over the place so it doesn't really look like lava at all anymore. So for now, we're just going to let the lamp turn on and we're just letting it sit for a long, long time. So right now what you see here is accelerated. So this is 10 times the speed. And eventually a lot of the wax already combined itself to one big blob now and it collected on the bottom and it even starts now to move up and down again. And I believe this has to do with that metal spiral that's on the bottom of the bottle. So that spiral helps the wax to uh, kind of break their tension, the surface tension, and then the wax kind of combines itself again. So you see a lot of the wax now is already in the big bubbles and it kind of works okay. But there also are still lots of those really tiny bubbles and they don't really seem to uh, go away and uh, merge with the rest of it so what we see right now is about 10 minutes after we were shaking the bottle right so and uh, now we're going to try something different since it doesn't seem like those uh, little bubbles are going away so remember the metal spiral uh, the metal spiral right now is on the very bottom and I'm going to kind of put it on the side so now at this point here maybe the small wax bubbles can reach that spiral easier and I'm hoping that that way the break the surface tension of those little bubbles breaks and then they merge with a big bubble. We're allowing this now to sit for a lot longer so we're giving it additional 20 minutes and so that we don't have to watch all these 20 minutes I'm going to speed this up even more so we're going to 20 times now and in this 20 minutes we see not a whole lot of change. So I think we need to come up with a different idea uh, of what we can change here and how we can fix this situation so that we can get rid of most or all of those really small bubbles. And the idea that we had that we want to try out now is to use an ultrasonic cleaner. So this is here an ultrasonic bath and I'm normally using this to clean my uh, glasses on my reading glasses so you put them in there and it vibrates like crazy and then that breaks off all the dirt from the glasses and the frame and gets really clean so we want to see if this device now can maybe fix the small bubble problem that we still have and there can be three things happening right now so one scenario is that the ultrasonic waves are going to break up all the bubbles even more and that we we'll just have some kind of cloudy soup in there then the second scenario is that the waves are going to 
kind of break up the tension of those small bubbles and they're all going to merge together with the big bubble and that we are going to the original state. And then the third scenario would be that nothing happens. And so now let's try this out and see what happens. I'm just going to put this in here just a couple of seconds. And then we're going to put it back onto the lamp, so back onto the light bulb just to see if we have a difference compared to what we had before. Okay, so now this is what it looks like after we put this into this ultrasonic bath. And now let us compare before the ultrasonic bath and afterwards. So on the left side we have before and on the right side we see after. And I think you have to agree with me that the right side looks quite a bit better. So we have much less of that small of those small wax bubbles that is floating around. And it seems like this ultrasonic bath did help with breaking down the small bubbles and just combining them all, merging them all. So it looks like this helped us quite a bit. And now our last attempt to merge all of the wax in one wall is to just turn off the lamp and let it sit and cool down and see what happens then. So we're going to let it sit overnight and then tomorrow morning we're going to come back and see what happened then. And also will it start working normally once we're going to turn the light back on so that the wax and the water can heat up and will we have the normal lava effect that we used to have before. And we can see here already the result. So now the wax is all hardened and it's just stuck on the bottom for the most part. There's one big flake floating around that was uh, on the top of the bottle. And then there's just a few more flakes, small flakes floating around, but way, way less than we had last night. So it seems like we are on a really good path here and our lamp may be fixed again. So what we see here right now, this is after 30 minutes of turning on the lamp. So right now the wax really looks waxy now, so it just built this tower and was creeping up really slowly. So you can see here exactly how the wax looks like. Then another, maybe 15 minutes later, the tower collapsed and some of it already went up and some of it fell down. We're also going to speed this up again so we don't have to wait out all this time. And what we're seeing right now is about one hour after we turned on the lamp. And we're playing this back at 10 times the speed again since the wax is moving really slow still at this point. So we're just going to let it sit for another hour and then see what happens then. Okay, so another hour later. And we can notice we do have some more activity, but Remember, this is still 10 times the speed, so it's still in reality quite slow, but at least a little bit faster than an hour ago. And here we are now, three hours in. So the lamp has been turned on for three hours, and now we really have a lot more activity. So you can see now the we kind of have the big bubbles again, and if you look at the water, then you can see how clear this is. So there's barely, barely any more of those small wax bubbles floating around. Most of it has now merged all into the big balls. So it seems like in the end we were able, after shaking the bottle rigorously and having all those little tiny bubbles, we were able to fix the lamp again and make the lava flow just like it used to be before. So. In case this happened to you, then uh, don't give up and throw the lamp away. So there is a way to uh, fix this and get the wax together again so that it works normally.